In this video, I'm going to review and share my thoughts on four different learning platforms, including Domestica, Skillshare, YouTube, and Masterclass. I'll start with pros and cons of each platform, and then I'll compare them and tell you what I think that the best one is or the best few are. Hi, my name is Lizzie Snow, and I work under my artist name 4100. I create contemporary explorations of the mandala and fractal-inspired artworks. I draw, paint murals internationally, release prints, products, and collaborate with select brands around the world. Welcome to my YouTube. Click the mandala in the corner to subscribe to my channel as I upload art and art business videos every single week. A bit of a disclaimer first that I've actually worked with a few of these so I'm hoping that this is like pretty equal and balanced considering that not all of them are my favorite. So YouTube I am an active creator and I earn ad revenue from. Skillshare I've worked with for quite a few years promoting them. Domestica I'm making a course with them so that'll come out next year. And then Masterclass I bought with a friend for a year under a special promotion. Let's start with Skillshare. Some of the pros include there is a massive bank of knowledge. You can pretty much type in any different creative avenue, creative skill, and they have a course for it. Another pro is that there are lots of free trials available. I think it's about two months of free access and then there's a monthly fee. So that goes on to the cons is that there is a monthly fee once you actually start paying for it. It's pretty low, it's pretty affordable, but it's still a monthly cost. The big the biggest con of Skillshare, and is probably the reason why I don't use it all the time, is that anyone can upload. So there's a huge variety of quality. It goes from really professional teachers and professionally produced videos, right down to like super amateur videos that really don't offer you anything. I'm sure they curate it a little bit, but I've definitely found that there's no consistency on the different videos that you're clicking on. So it takes a bit of digging to find a video that's really good. And some of them maybe aren't as good as you had hoped for in the title, for example. Still a really great resource and I've learned some pretty awesome things there. For example, when I've wanted to learn more about color theory or really specific type of illustration, because they have such a massive range, you can usually find what you're looking for. The next online platform I'm going to talk about is Domestica. So Domestica you might not have heard of or you might have just started hearing of it. A lot of their content is in Spanish and other languages but they're creating a huge amount of volume in English. So I guess that's kind of the only con that I've found is that a lot of the courses are not in English. Um, but they have really good subtitles and they've got really good translation on the actual web pages where they give you different resources. So even if something's not in your language, you can still learn from it really easily. And honestly, that hasn't really been a problem for me because the courses I have watched, I just put um, English and it shows me all of the English ones. And then for ones that aren't in English, you just read the subtitles, so it's totally okay. Another con for Domestica would be that you pay for individual courses, but I actually think this is more of a pro than a con. So the pros, the fact that you're paying paying for individual courses means you aren't just paying a monthly ongoing fee, you're picking and choosing the exact courses that you want. And so each course is about $70, but there's usually a massive discount. So on average, I found that you can get each course for around $15, $15 20 The biggest pro for Domestica and why it's super standout is that it's just so professional. So not anyone can choose to upload something. Domestica picks top creators from different industries, flies them to their headquarters, quarters in Spain or to their studios in New York or different spots around the world where they have big film studios, big film crews, production managers, this huge amounts of teams that work with the teachers to create super high quality courses. It's, it's really amazing. The end result is an insanely curated designed learning experience and they have different resources, different downloads, things that you upload, you become part of the community within each course, you get to connect with the teacher and because there are so many people that like are involved with these courses, you end up learning so much because every single part is thought through. This means that it ends up being super high value for the amount of money that you spend. Masterclass is the next one I'll talk to you about and it's quite an interesting one. So Masterclass has not just top creatives but like really famous individuals from different industries and they do like a full masterclass. That's one of the pros is that you can learn from someone that you don't usually have access to like Anna Wintour for example who doesn't really do like doesn't teach, right? So you get to have access to these people that you may have seen in 
magazines and movies and just in general like popular culture and you get to have insights into their knowledge so that's really interesting cons are that those people usually aren't teachers although the ones that i've watched they have been really good so they are really high quality i think the biggest con is just the cost so you pay a yearly cost and it's several hundred dollars so that's quite a big investment um i signed up for a year with another friend and it was really really good but i won't be buying it again. I guess one of the other cons is that because they have very um, famous people, they have, they just don't have a huge selection. So I've watched all the ones in art and design, all of the ones in business, and then for me that's kind of enough. So they've got other categories like music and film and chess and cooking and different things like that, but I just, even though it's interesting, it's not really what I'm there for. So that's why I won't be buying it again because um, they just don't have enough of the categories that I'm looking for. The last one out of the four I'm going to talk about is YouTube. YouTube is great because everyone's already familiar with it and there is like millions or maybe billions of videos. Cons is that there's a lot of kind of clickbait and ads and everyone's trying to like get famous on YouTube, you know, so when you type something in to find something, you'll have to kind of wade through like a long personal story or get stuck in someone reading an ad or like an actual YouTube ad and that's not the end of the world but it is something to consider when comparing to other online platforms. The cons are that anyone can upload so the quality is extremely varied. As an overview which one do I think is best? Ah, uh, it's actually really hard to choose. I recommend trying all of them because there might be one that you're particularly drawn to. If I had to pick one... No, I think I have to pick two and it would be YouTube and Domestica and that's because YouTube, there's just an insane amount of options, so that's why I would rank over Skillshare because it's free and there's just, and it feels like an eternity of videos, so you can really can find what you're looking for. And then Domestica because it's very, very professional, but unlike Masterclass, it has more of a selection and it's really tailored for creatives, so art, business, design computer skills you know like it's a real creative hub whereas masterclass its strong point is that it's these famous icons so it's really interesting to use masterclass and it's quite nice to use skillshare but um youtube and domestica have higher strengths i think i'm most excited about domestica in my own life because i'm currently creating a course with them it's going to be the ultimate guide of how to draw a mandala the reason i'm just so impressed is that i have an entire team that i'm working with it's been months and months like over six months of creating this incredibly detailed course different units and then within each unit different lessons and it's just so thought out there's been so much research so many different resources and it's been amazing to like break down everything in my own mind but it's honestly a credit to Domestica they've been really great to work with and their results are just amazing so don't take my word for it go and try one of their courses because they usually have like a, a really good sale i don't have a code or anything um and one day when my course comes out that's going to be really great too i can't wait to share it with you anyway there are lots of different online platforms they all have pros and cons there's no perfect one but um that's why there are lots of different ones available i personally use youtube all the time and then domestica when there's a specific skill i want to look up like a very specific Photoshop skill or a very specific type of illustration. I'm really interested to know what you think. What online platforms are you drawn to? And what do you think about the ones I've talked about today? Remember to write a comment and like this video and then subscribe to my channel as I'm uploading a new video on art and art business every single Wednesday. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.